Jesus. Give me, give me a second. Let me go get that. Does this look like the front door? I feel like anybody with a brain would understand that this wasn't the front door. Looks like we got a package. What do we get, T? Your hair looks like shit today. Also, do not play within. I'm warning you. Yeah, okay, so some tough guy found out I was downloading games from the dark web and sent me a package to scare me. Big deal. Yo, what's going on, everybody, and welcome to Within. This is a new dark web horror game, and it looks incredible. So as always, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and welcome to the full gameplay of Within. I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, Last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you may not hear from me again for a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but... Nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As Soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. Now I'm pretty sure Nick explicitly stated to not- I should get him. this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Oh, we think we're doing Let's this in see. a day. He should be at apartment 405. Apartment 405. Okay, we got 412 over here. Uh, 413. 402. What's that? 401. Okay, so it must be down this way. This is going to be 403, 404. It's behind that thing, of course. Uh, so we got to walk around this way. 410. Which one is that? I can't tell what door, door that was coming from. It sounded like they were having a little a little quarrel in there, though. Lots of trash down there, too. Nice complex. What's that? Hello? <clears throat> Where'd they go? There was someone just here. This is Shadow. All right, four or five, here we are. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Uh. Nick! Nick, come on. He's not answering the door. What are we gonna do about that, Maya? I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Damn. Maya kind of hateful in nature with her words. Maybe he's sleeping off a drunken binge. Gosh, oh. what is that smell? 
She's gonna hate Nick? this place. Nick, are you here? I don't... Jeez. How is he living like this? This is terrible. Okay, Maya, not all of us are rich like you. It's pretty common to have a mattress on the ground. Nothing wrong with that. But this is... Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? Before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones? When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. Why is she wording all of it like that? For the we never knew our father. Skin and bones. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We watched her waste away. Bro, bro, why are you so negative about all of it? Holy we moved shit. in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Jesus, man. Piece of pizza, I could go, I could get after that. Mmm, I'm not even gonna try. Fruit! I think I just lost my appetite. That's kinda nasty, I don't really know what's going on there. It's not in the microwave. We can heat something Would up. Would it hurt to clean up a little? She's so... I mean, it is kinda... The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. Do not open, go back. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Uh, right, what uh, what other way is there to get it open? Cause I'm sure I was looking around and didn't see much that would open the door. Nothing in the shower. The bathroom doesn't look too bad, honestly. I mean, pile of clothes, but like, I, I, if you went into my bathroom, there's at least seven pairs of underwear on the ground. Maybe more. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Dude, am I missing something? I mean, this apartment's not that big, and I feel like I, oh, I missed the discarded wrappers and cans. Maybe. What is he doing to himself? Once I find him, I'm gonna have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. Yeah, okay. Uh, Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? Bro, I... <laughs> This looks like it could use a cleaning, like everything else here. I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. <sighs> Why does he have to be such a slob? Maya, my god. Dude, your brother's missing and all you're worried about is how big of a fucking slob he is. Come well, on, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Oh. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. Okay. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Okay, so, uh, that's not very cool. Uh, that makes things a little bit different. I guess if that happened. Uh, yeah. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? He's probably been in this apartment for what, 10 months now? How much would it hurt him to get a cupboard to put his clothes away? Hmm. Hello? Oh, thanks, Nick. Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Oh, geez. Goodness Hello? God. Hello? How did this door open? Uh, wow. Nice room, man. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. Occult. 
Ah, uh, big AI art. Well, guy, at is, least eh? I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. Man. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. That's a good idea. Look at this thing. You better be careful with that, Maya. A nice computer. What's going on here? Boot failure. A USB, USB drive, drive? Let me see if I can find one. This shit boots off a USB this drive? This looks days old. This must be uh, Mr. Gigi's computer. He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, USB drive, though. Uh, that's so cool. Oh, there it is. Bingo. Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. Except for this USB drive. This right could be it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing useful here. Okay, let's put this away. Let me just check this one just to be safe. That's actually the right Nothing one. Nothing useful here. CQQ, the unknown life under the sea. Interesting. Let's put this jump drive in here. And bingo. Sandbox OS. Safety, security, an anonymity. Game.exe, play log number one. Uh, I finally got it all set up the Sandbox OS, a secure, heavily modded Linux variant running as a VPC, and the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. A single EXE file, not very cleverly named. No instructions to think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. The things I had to trawl through to find it, things I don't think I can ever unsee. Ah, I don't have much hope for humanity anyways. We're broken beyond redemption. <laughs> I'll continue taking notes in the text files if this game is the real deal. I can later use them to compose a post documenting my journey for the r slash occult subreddit. Anyways, first things first, I have to begin work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says it pr that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. The stories about the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it and then a bunch of letters and random numbers and shit. Let's play it. <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh my god, we made it. Click to start WSD and look around the mouse. Okay, so we're playing a game within a game. Right. Right, right. Uh, is this gonna tell me where my brother's at? What does that say? That kind of looks like his... His band stuff that he's into. So does that, to be honest. Wow, I wonder if Nick was developing this. This is pretty cool, man. And he must have left that uh, notepad in there to try and scare me. I got it. You got some glowing eyes too, or no, not as cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go this way. See if there's anything cool happening over here. Ah, uh, just another locked gate. Means we must have to go back this way, I guess. Okay, ah. Uh, see, these look like all those logos that were hanging in his, in his bedroom, that are hanging in his bedroom behind me right now. Right, nothing happening over here. Oh, I bet you got glowing red eyes for show. Okay. So that motherfucker. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know, I almost thought for a second that he said my. Uh, 
Wait, that file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Got it to run. First impressions a creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. The game's unstable, crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up files and then randomly spitting them back. No credits, no title screen, no save, no load. It was hard to find, so many fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident, following an Anon link to a file dump on an Onion server. I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I pieced together through sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time and that it allows itself to be found by those whom it selects. There are stories that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed whole in the filth of the dark web, a digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. As I spend hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexorably returning dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol it's impossible to resist. The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps most disturbing of all is the notion that it can. Oh, okay. Sounds like a crock of shit to me. Let's launch the game again. God, that's loud. Okay, we made it back, and, and it saves. <laughs> That's a. Uh, that's pretty impressive. The game crashes and auto auto saves like that. That's that's pretty good coding. Whoever did that, not gonna lie. So, anyways, I think last time he probably opened up this gate. That's probably what that. Cause I, I could hear the noise. 100%. That's what it was. Okay. What do we got hiding back here? Huh. It's a cool game, little brother's been working on here. What the hell is this? Uh... Nick! Jesus, man. Is this is a failure restart required. Oh my god. Baby. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. But that makes no sense. He just did it to scare you. I've got to get this game going again. He just did it to scare you. Let's restart the computer and get back on. You'll see that nothing bad is happening. Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <sighs> just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. True. Everything fucking sucks, Maya. Let's be honest. The world sucks. This apartment sucks. Your brother sucks. He's a slob. The game sucks. The computer sucks. Uh, YouTube.com slash Hayden Green doesn't suck. Everything else sucks, though. Sandbox OS. Let's run it back and figure out where your brother's at so you can go back to being angry all the time. Play Log 5. New one. Nice. Ah, <sighs> getting worse. Growing signs of malevolence. Waking nightmares. Oppressive thoughts. General, whatever that is. An intense craving for self-defilement. Weird sounds from the other room. Voices. Footsteps. Shifting shadows. An hour ago, the web can't turn on by itself and took a pic. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Uh, bile, that word, AKA the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon, perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshiped by the Lagani sect in then Samaria, requires human sacrifice. Feeds on fatalism, guilt, and grief, manifests in the recurring nightmares of killers, in the lust slash regret cycles of serial sex offenders, in the dying fugue of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrevocable, irre irrecoverably wrong, a vile parasitical being that consumes those who it selects. The simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate. The patterns of the symbols, the piles of refuse and filth, the writings on the scrolls, all of it suggests an invocation ritual. Have I made a terrible mistake? What am I awakening in the deep dark? The game is trying to... <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, let's launch this motherfucker back up then. <laughs> uh, nice. Only two tries at a time. Because where, where am I at now? 
Uh... Maya. I don't like that. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Nick? If Nick was stuck in here, why would he want to fuck with me like that, though? Why wouldn't Nick just be like, yo, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in this bitch, too. What up? What up, dude? What's this? Does that have an image on it? I am a sucker for collectibles amongst games, so one out of four. I'm going to have to find the rest of those. Sorry. Even if this game is coming for my soul. Yeah. Let's start left and then we'll sweep back around. I'm betting we're gonna find another gate up here that's not openable yet until I talk to one of, oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe it's another little collectible boy. Since the last time I was playing, what's up with you? Show me that for me. Thanks, man. Nick! Maya, help me. Please. You have to help me. Nick? I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please, help me. Jesus, man. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. And then what? And then what are you gonna do, Maya? <sighs> Maya. Oh, Hello? Goodness, God. Is someone oh, there? Me. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. Nick, if this is some kind of joke, bro, it's really not that funny. <laughs> Nick, but his face, what is happening to me? <sighs> bro, you read the game logs. They literally told you this shit was gonna happen. Is that new? That's all fucked up oh, now. That's awful. How could the picture have changed like this? I don't know, bro. Probably the same way that we just saw Nick standing behind the table. Probably the same way that this game has Nick trapped inside of it. You know, I'm not- I'm no fucking Bill Nye the Science Guy, but, uh... I... Let's load it back up. Run it back, baby. You know- you know what they say. Let's run it back. Sandbox OS. Safety. Security. Anonymity. Play Log 12. I saw Alex today. He was here, in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago on a gurney in a morgue the day after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Mm -hmm. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning, but I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her. Tell her to stay put and not come looking for me. Because I know Maya. She'll look for me. If she doesn't care for me for too long, she still feels responsible for me even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures, even though she shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me, me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from this. And I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here... <laughs> Alright, run her back. <clears throat> Ooh, the game is fully functional right now. Okay, locked, locked, not locked, red and scary. This is gonna be scroll number three, I think. Hopefully it unlocks some shit for us. Three out of four collects. There you go. Okay, 
Okay, so what did that just open that up on the other side? And then there's hopefully going to be one more here, and that's going to open this main one. And uh, hopefully Nick's in there. We can save Nick. Like I always do. <laughs> It's not Nick. You know that's not Nick. Nick! Okay. Now we gotta follow him through this labyrinth of shit. 406, 407, Nick. Nick! What's up, Nick? What's up with you, bro? Nick, stop! It's me! Oh my god. I couldn't just crawl through that. I mean, I know I can't, but like... Nick! I need you to wait for me, man. I'm hearing kind of satanic noises behind me. It's not all that funny. You know, whatever, though. <gasps> what the hell? Jesus, man. I'm not going near that elevator. What the hell? What, what if it was Nick? What if it was Nick falling down the elevator shaft? Just a thought. Uh, no. Nick walked into that exit. That's where he walked into, right? That's That's exactly where he went. Uh, up or down? Up's blocked. Must have been down. Nick, I'm coming for you, man. Hopefully he's just out of my car waiting so we can go home. Of course I didn't bring a flashlight, naturally. That would have been a smart thing to do on a rescue mission. You, you always need a flashlight. My... I'm down here. Come quickly. How many uh, stairs up is this? Wasn't the what were the numbers 400 and something? Would that mean four flights of stairs? My, come on. I'm waiting for you, Maya. I can only move. Where so are fast. you? <laughs> we're all waiting. Yeah. Who, so who, who's we? Okay, here we are. Nick, what's up, bro? I'm here, dude. Nick. You can't save me, Maya. You never could. Even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. The accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. That. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Some time later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but... There's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, 
something or someone stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me. Isn't that just lovely? What, what, what a lovely ending to the story that was. It end up in the same place that we were at the very beginning of the game. We have no idea where Nick is, and now I'm traumatized. That was fantastic. 10 out of 10 experience would play again for sure. Uh, anyways, hope y'all did enjoy the full gameplay of Within. Please let me know what you thought about that and also what you'd be doing in that situation because I... I don't know. Anyways, like and subscribe. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I will see you in the next one.